Hey there, today we are going to take my core challenge. Are you ready for this? So I'm going to really dig deep into those muscles. It's really all about alignment and intention. So I want you to work with a really good, powerful mental focus. And let's dig deep into those abs today. All right, let's take it down to the mat. So we're gonna take it down to our mat. I want you to lie down on your back. So what I want you to have is a nice neutral pelvis. So your hip bones and pelvic bone are really flat. Your pelvis is not tilted either way. So really get it flat so that each point is directly facing the, the sky. Get your shoulder blades down on your mat, get your ribs down on your mat, and I want you to take your hands, one on top of the other, and place your head in your hands with your elbows angling up at a 45 degree angle. We're gonna do a little chest lift. So I want you to lift your chest, but I want you to lift the chest without tilting your pelvis towards you. So really try to keep that pelvis flat and come up as high as you can without tilting. All right, so, we're, so some of you might have your shoulder blades off the mat. Some may still be on the mat. Take it back down. So we're gonna do that 10 times. Just lift the chest and really challenge the pelvis by not letting it move at all. And then lower down. Exhale on the way up, nine, eight, and really challenge that chest lift. Really try to come up as high as you can and really work it without tilting. Five more, guys. You, want, you don't want to let your elbows go in. You don't want your elbows too far out to the sides. Really have those elbows angling up at a 45 degree angle either way. Three more times, guys. Three. Look right above your knees. Two. Come on up on one. Hold it there. Make sure you keep a fist distance from your chin to your chest and give me 10 pulses. 10, nine. Again, don't let that pelvis move at all. Seven, six. Stabilize those shoulders. Four, three. Don't let those elbows move. Two. One, come on down, take one leg to tabletop without moving that pelvis and bring the other up as well. Bring your thighs together. Again, give me that chest lift. Really try to come up without moving your pelvis and we're gonna reach one leg, reach and switch, 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 six, five. Keep lifting your chest as high as you can. Four, switch, three. Keep lifting the chest as you move your legs. Two, one. Bend those knees in. Take it down. Bring your legs down. Take a little breather. Again, get that pelvis back to neutral. Hands behind the head. Elbows angling up. One leg at a time. Lift it and squeeze. Lift that chest. Really challenge it and reach both legs away and bend it in. Reach and bend. Six, Five, keep lifting yourself up. Don't let the chin yank into the chest. Three more times, three, two, one, lift, 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 bend in, drop down, bend it in, take a little breather. From here, again, get that neutral back to where you want it. Reach the legs up, lift your body up, walk up as high up on your right leg as you can. Shoulders down, elbows wide. And now what I want you to do is you're going to lift that leg up and into you. Pulse, pulse. Switch. Pulse, pulse. For seven. Keep breathing. Six. Five. Really scoop and squeeze your abs in. Shoulders down. Make the switch with your legs. Happen at your core. Three more. Three. Two. Lifting your chest, lift both legs up, keep them up there, take your hands behind your head, keep that chest lift, and lower the legs down just a little bit, and pull back in, lower down, and pull back in. Now guys, when you're doing this, keep lowering down and up. What I want you to do is as your legs come up to you and you're lifting your chest, keep lifting your chest up into those legs, almost like you're trying to kiss your thighs the entire time. Keep going, we got four more. Four, keep lifting. 
three, two, don't let your chest lower. One more time. Bend in, take a breather here so we can really work our crisscross next. So again, get back to neutral in case you lost it. Hands behind the head, elbows angling up. Let's practice with our feet down first. Lift up that chest. Again, don't move your pelvis. Now you're going to take a shoulder. So let's take our left shoulder, bring it over towards your right knee. All right? And then what I want you to do is take your right elbow, which is the one behind you, and try to stretch it to the back corner of the room. Look at that elbow and try to lift your chest up more. Return to center. Other side. Take your right shoulder to your left knee. Lift up. Reach your back elbow to the back corner of the room and at the same time, try to lift your back shoulder off the ground and come to center. All right, rotate, elbow towards that knee. Reach the back elbow and try to take your back shoulder blade, try to lift it off the ground and return to center. And over the other way and lift. All right, let's try to do this with the legs. Lift your legs up, tabletop. You're gonna rotate as you reach your opposite leg. Here we go, up through center and rotate. Rotate. Six, look at that back elbow. Five, keep lifting up. Four, three, two, and one. Hug it in, take a breather. Good job, lift yourselves up. All right guys, from here, what I'd like you to do is see if you can get a small ball. If you do not have a small ball, no worries, all right? You can use this without a prop. The prop just makes it a little bit harder. Again, if you don't have it, no worries. Just keep your feet on the ground. All right, so we're gonna lie down on our mats with our heels into your ball. So you really got a balance here. Reach your arms behind you. We're gonna come on up into a flexion. Come on up, reach for your toes, and then rock it down the center of your spine. Do not wobble in one direction. So you really wanna stay in the center of your spine. Center, melt it down through the center. Three more times, guys. Up and reach for three. Two. One more, hold it up there. Hold it up there, really scoop. Make a nice little up and in of your abs. We're gonna roll it halfway back. All right, and I want you to stay there. And as you stay here, really push your heels into your ball and feel the connection from your here to your heels to your abs. Lift the arms up and just hold it. Eight, seven, keep pressing your heels into the ball. Five, four, three, two, one. Roll it all the way down. Okay, now we're gonna come up. You're gonna come up to your sticky point. That point that you really have to work to come on up. So where you stick, that point where you have to work up to come up, try to stay at that sticky point and hold it. Dig deep into those heels and ball. Keep space between your, your chest and, and chin. Five. Four, three, two, one. Work through it, come all the way up and squeeze. All right, we're gonna do that half roll back again. Ready, and roll it halfway back. Digging your heels into that ball. Lift your arms up and hold it. Eight, seven, six. Keep digging your heels in. Four, three, two, one, roll it down. Guys, we got one more up to that sticky point. Ready? And go up and hold it. Lift those arms up a little bit. Eight, seven, six, five. Come up a little bit higher if you can. Four, three, two, one. Come all the way up and stretch. Ah, nice work, guys. Really good job. So from here, let's just counterbalance with some back work. Because anytime you do all that flexion, we do want to go into a little bit of extension to kind of stretch the tummy and work the back. So what I want you to do is just bring your arms down, palms down to the ground. Your legs are straight. 
your pelvis is in the mat. All right, so what I want you to do is try to put your pelvic bone into the mat, try to put your rib bones into the mat, and then at the same time, try to pick up your belly off the mat. So your bony parts are the pelvis, the pelvic bone, pubic bone, and then your, your lower ribs. Pull your belly button up to the sky and lift up. As you lift up, try to keep your belly hollow off the mat. Pull your shoulders together and down, and then just lift those arms up and reach for your toes. And lower back down, try it again. And come on up, press your pelvic bone into the mat. Squeeze your seat, pull your abs in, and lower down one more time. And shoulders pulled together and down and come on up. Try to stretch out of your waist. Stretch out of your low back and reach those arms out to the sides. Really reach, reach, reach and lower down. Do it again from here. Hollow out the belly. Almost like you're tucking your tailbone under a little bit. And lower down one more time. And lift it up. Stay here and reach your arms up at a diagonal and lower down. Again, lift and lower. Two more times. Tuck that tail a little bit. Get out of your low back. One more time. And hold it up there and just bend and reach. Pull with that mid back. Three, two, one. And lower it on down. Sit back to your heels. Stretch it out. Now let's come to all fours. Your hands and your knees. And then just a couple cat stretches to tuck and round. And then just tuck and then come to a flat back, open the chest. Again, come to center from your tailbone. Tuck under from the tail and then let your head fall last. Really feel that flexion like you're pulling your tailbone through your inner thighs. And then back out into an extension. Pull your belly in and up. Don't let that belly hang out and come to center, sit back one last time. All right, good job guys. Hopefully you had a little core challenge here. If you want to see some more full length videos, you can check out my website at www.gretchenmccarthy.com. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Take care.